All right, hey gang, it's uh, Coach Chris. I wanted to share a uh, quick uh, video on a simple setup for indoor cycling. So if you wanna Im increase your fun <laughs> with training indoors, one of the best things you can do is make the experience more immersive. Um, so a new year upgrade I just did for Shelly was I installed a new uh, flat screen TV monitor. Um, this one was about 150 bucks. Um, and it's a 27 inch or you can actually get 32 inch TVs um, for around the same price. But this one is um, just a regular computer monitor, but it, it has two HDMI inputs, which is what I wanted to get. Um, and what I did is I added a Roku Premiere, um, this little uh, Roku device, because the new Rokus, any of the ones that support 4K resolution, even if you don't have a 4K TV, the new ones that have 4K resolution also have compatibility with Apple AirPlay 2 and basically any other wireless uh, video uh, casting uh, service. So as an example, I've got two tablets here. Uh, this pink one is Shelly's iPad. You can just swipe down from the top and uh, search for a mirroring uh, AirPlay device to transmit which is what I'm actually doing from this tablet over here right now. So you just swipe down from the top corner, you hit that uh, right there where it says Roku Premiere. Um, if it's not selected, it should say screen mirroring, and then you just find your device to cast your screen to. Um, so that's how you do it on an Apple device. If you're on a Android device, it depends on the device you have. But if you have a Samsung device, like a tablet or a phone, what you wanna do is swipe down from the top and look for something that'll either say cast, mirroring, or Samsung calls it smart view, and you just tap that. And then it should automatically search for any devices that you can uh, transmit your screen to. So this one's the Roku Premiere. So I just tap that Roku Premiere, say start now. And what it does is it searches for the TV and then the TV just automatically switches over to its Roku platform and it's starting the video from my tablet. So now what's ever on my tablet is on the big screen TV. So you don't need a cable. Um, this is super simple. Um, so if you wanna mount the TV far away, you don't wanna have a messy setup. This is super elegant. The 32 inch Roku TVs that are about 150 bucks or so, I think have this built in. So you don't even need to buy the separate Roku Premiere. But for about $40, this is probably the best value. The higher end Rokus can do a longer distance. So if you have a longer distance, you might want to get the Roku Ultra or one of the higher end uh, Rokus. Um, but what I did is I also got this fun little mount. So this is designed for a desk. It's not very stable on my window brace here, but um, it works. So this one has two arms. So the whole TV, I can actually pull it off the wall, rotate it, um, and it's just, a nice way to bring it closer to the bike if uh, Shelly wants it closer. And then the second arm, you could actually put a second TV on, but I just installed, it was kind of like a cheap uh, 10 or $20 um, metal laptop stand. This is the one by Manhattan. Um, and you can put a tablet on there. You can actually put a full PC on there. Um, so it's a really kind of industrial strength solution, um, but it works really, really well. This one has about 22 inches of length, so you can get it pretty far away. Um, so a really nice solution. I think it was only $40 for this whole uh, dual monitor brace. It can support up to 32 inch screens, I think 25 pounds. Um, most of the newer TVs are about 10 pounds. So um, definitely worthwhile. Um, so if you think about it all in, 150 for the TV, 40, 50 for the brace, 20 for the Roku, 10 for that you know, two, $200 or so um, for a pretty elegant solution that you can probably mount on any desk um, or any, any area that you have. So even if you have a desk that you just wanna add extra screens to, this could be a good option um, to consider. And the wireless transmission works pretty well. You won't get the super high resolution, but that's pretty good if you take a look at it. So if you guys have any other tips for simple indoor cycling setups, um, would love to hear comments or feedback from other athletes, but this is one of my favorite simple solutions um, because you can put one tablet or here I've even got two tablets on this one stand 
Um, so you can get your chatting app, your cycling app, your movies, whatever you want to watch and actually have what three screens right there all in one. Um, and the other upgrade I did for Shelly too, which is always nice. I recommend for any indoor cycling setup, these magic arm cell phone mounts, you can put your phone on this mount and position it close to your handlebars. Um, so it keeps your phone nice and secure within easy reach and it just clamps right on any type of handlebar. It can clamp on arrow bars, handlebars, and that's about 30 bucks um, for a nice high quality metal one. There's some cheaper ones, but I would definitely go for a higher quality one if you have a nice phone. Um, this is the one with a little twist adjuster, which does a pretty good job of holding your phone. So simple setup um, was a great way to add an extra screen and uh, yeah, try it out.